Well, now the Wayne County Jail has long faced issues of severe understaffing, a problem the seven investigators have been documenting for years now. Our Team 7 coverage continues now with 7 investigator Ross Jones with more on whether that played a role in this tragedy here. Ross. Carolyn, good evening. The sheriff was emphatic today saying that understaffing is still a huge problem in his jails, but he said it is not a reason that this corporal died. We house some of the most dangerous criminals in America in the Wayne County Jail. For years, the deputies inside Wayne County's three jails have been working shorthanded. Low pay and dangerous working conditions have made retaining deputies a constant struggle. There's a lot of officers who are working six days a week, 16-hour shifts. As we last reported in 2017, deputy shortages have led to between 14 and $16 million in overtime every year. And more importantly, it's triggered burnout among jail deputies. Close to 150 officers who are either on full-time medical leave or part-time medical leave or restricted hours that they can work. And it's, and it's a direct result of the amount of work that they're doing. And while Sheriff Benny Napoleon confirms today his jails are still understaffed, he says that understaffing is not to blame for today's tragedy. No staffing emergency was declared inside jail two last night, and Corporal Searcy had an assigned partner who was supposed to be performing rounds with him. It's unclear tonight why he was on his own. The officers understand the environment that they're working in. Uh, they understand the level of prisoners that they're dealing with, and yet they go to work every single day and do a very, very tough job under some very tough circumstances. Corporal Searcy normally did not work in the jail. Rather, he had been assigned to courtrooms. But after COVID-19 broke out in March, all the courtrooms in Wayne County were closed, and deputies who had worked there had been reassigned to the jails. Had it not been for COVID-19, he may still be alive today. We're live outside the Sheriff's Office. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you so much for your investigations. As always, we know a lot of heavy hearts within that Sheriff's Department. For more on what happened and the county's response, head to WXYZ.com.